Hi there, my name is Lori and I'm from Vancouver Island and I am here in the kitchen today. We are going to test out some of our dehydrated foods. If you haven't seen my dehydrating video on blanching potatoes, whether you should blanch them or not before you dehydrate, you should check that out. We are going to test the results today and I'm going to let you know my final verdict on whether you need to blanch or not blanch potatoes before you dehydrate them. So, uh, let's get to it. <laughs> I'm not sure I didn't bring my phone out again. Anyway, we're going to try eating our dehydrated potatoes today. So I'm actually going to make two different casseroles. Uh, well, they're actually going to be basically the same casserole, but I'm going to do one with the blanched potatoes and one with the unblanched potatoes because I want to see if there is actually a difference in the looks of the final product and more importantly, the taste of the final product because Yes, this looks better in a jar, but it probably added an hour to the process, having to blanch and then rinse and all that. So, is it really worth it? This is going to answer that question for me. So, I'm just going to fill these up with some hot water and I'm going to leave them sit here for a half hour or so till they're soft. And then I will, um, I'll keep going. Mine are too. Like, look at mine. Mine are crooked. It's because your ears are lopsided. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you're just playing the form. There's nothing I can do about it. Everybody's ears are lopsided, honey. Well, I don't go around and measure them. Let me well, check your ears. Look at everybody you know with glasses. Do I have to? <laughs> well, not right now, <laughs> okay. but when you next time you see somebody with glasses, look at them and their glasses will be slightly crooked. One side will be a little bit higher than the other. Huh. It's because their ears are lopsided. <laughs> like, oh no, I got another deformity. <laughs> Dang. Well, it's just the one. <laughs> the lopsided ears. <laughs> Oh, you're such a lovely lady. I know. It's because I love you. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> so, can I go back to my cooking video? Well, I guess if you want. I was just starting it when Roy called. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've got my game going. Okay, well, yeah, I want to get these into the oven because it beat. So, anyway, as I was saying... Um, it only took about five minutes for these to be soft enough to use. And look at how nice those, I mean, they looked a lot darker when they were dry. These are the, um, the non-blanched potatoes. They actually don't look bad. So I'm going to go ahead and this is how I make my scalp potatoes. Um, I layer them. I do slices. Usually I'm doing these with fresh potatoes. This will be the first time I've made them with my own dehydrated potatoes. I've used those dehydrated mixes before. Um, I don't know if this is going to be enough potatoes to fill this. I should have probably made two small ones. Oopsie! Anyway, let's zoom through this and I'll be back when I get to the next layer. <laughs> All right, so I did go ahead and move to the smaller pan, and I'll have to just pull out another small pan for the others because there's not enough potatoes um, in here to make the big batch. Uh, usually I make like a double or triple batch so that we can have enough to last for a few days. Um, anyway, so the next layer is ham. This is some ham I made a while ago, and I just chopped it up into pieces. And I'm going to do a layer of ham. And then I've got some onion from the garden. I'll throw a little of that in. And then I've got these mushrooms here. I'll throw in some of those. And let me get... Oh, you can see everything I'm doing, can't you? Because you're on my head. You're on my head. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. You know 
when I do really silly stuff that I generally cut it out, so. <laughs> anyway, I don't want you all thinking I'm crazy. So now we've got a little bit of butter. I like to put a little bit of pat of butter in every layer as well. I don't know, every, but you don't have to. Like all of this is optional, right? And I don't measure any of it. I just put it in. <laughs> I do a layer of potatoes. I put the ham. Um, I put the mushrooms and the onion, salt and pepper, just a little salt, more pepper. I like lots of pepper. I always end up adding pepper at the end because nobody likes it as much as I do. And then it's on to the next layer of potatoes. So here we go. I've got uh, my two pans here. I went down to a, a bread pan with this one. And that was one thing about my dehydrator is it, um, it only had the five trays. And so it only, when I'm doing the slices like this, it does like three potatoes. So I did get another couple of um, trays, but you know, one of those one and a half pint jars only does this much so um, that's something to keep in mind that uh, I'd like to have some I'd like to get a hold of some quart size jars but I can't seem to find any oh so I got two different kinds of cheese here I meant to layer cheese all the way through uh, and then I totally forgot so I'm just gonna throw some on top and then the next step is to throw on my juice here so I am, I think I've mentioned this before, is that I'm a home style slash convenience food cook. I use, I quite often mix the two of them together. So this here is just cream of mushroom soup and milk and it's two cans and uh, usually I actually do cream of mushroom and cheddar cheese for my scallop potatoes, but I didn't have any cheddar cheese. Now, I don't think these are gonna take too long to cook at all. I'm gonna try them for a half hour and um, and then check them at a half hour because really the potatoes are already soft. Um, I do need some of this cream to evaporate and finish cooking and you know the flavors to meld and stuff, but uh, yeah, I don't think they're gonna take, usually they take two or three hours to cook. So <laughs> this might be really, really, really nice. And we'll have to see which ones cook faster. If the, I'm pretty sure that these blanched ones will be ready b even before these ones. So anyway, we'll be back. I'm gonna throw them in the oven at 350. And like I said, for half an hour, and then I'll come back and check them. <laughs> I think these are probably perfect. So you can see I'm killing two birds with one stone. I've got this beautiful, beautiful trivet here that I've made and I'm going to see if it's heat proof. I've got two or possibly three coats of resin on here and the resin is supposed to be heat proof. So I know it's got at least two and they said three to five. So we're going to see where it sits at two. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful those look. We'll set... We'll set this one here because it's smaller. And we'll set this one on here. Ha ha ha! Now, if you look at those, let's get you down close. I'm assuming you can see those. They look dang near the same. I mean, I can see, okay, so there's a potato sticking up right here. And there's one, oh, that's a mushroom. Oh, there's a potato sticking up right there. And it does look a little bit browner, but, you know, big deal. <laughs> With all of that goodness on there. Anyway, we're gonna let these sit for five minutes and then we'll come and do a taste test. So there is definitely a difference in the way they look. Um, this certainly does look more appealing than that does. Um, so, <laughs> based on appearance, uh, blanched wins. Anyway, okay, continue I, with your potato review. Okay, I, 
it felt like the the unblanched ones were a little more chewy. Okay. Than the than yeah. The I wonder if that has more to do with them being thicker. That could be. Right. I am going to try my white potatoes or my my red potatoes. Some of those. Yeah. I'm going to bring in and I'm going to try them and they'll be the same thickness. But I can't really tell a difference in flavor of the potato. I've been, okay. like I said, I was dividing out the potato by itself. Yeah, because yeah. If I bit into a piece of meat, it changed the flavor. Right, right. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so which one did you like better? The blanched ones, and why? They tasted better. They do okay. Jeez. <laughs> so it wasn't a visual thing for you. Oh come on. Well, yeah, that's true. What am I thinking? <laughs> okay. Well, part of it I think might have been visual for me, but I didn't like either of them. Well, I, I, I believe that. I didn't like the ham. The ham tasted like it had freezer burn. <laughs> I didn't like the texture of the of the non-blanched ones. It is too damn picky. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, I think next time I'm not going to soak them. I'm just going to add extra liquid into my into my creamy sauce and okay. and and that way they'll soak that up and be delicious. So now what are you going to do with what you got out there? Uh, well, if you like it, you can keep it. <laughs> you can eat it for leftovers. <laughs> if you don't like it, just toss it because I'm not going to eat it. Alright. So You decide. I will. Alright. 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 Right. Bye. Bye, kitty. <laughs> So there you have it. The verdict is in. The blanched potatoes won hands down in this taste contest. Um, the unblanched potatoes were kind of rubbery and I know I made a mistake soaking them first. So the next time that I make them, I think I'm just going to start with them dehydrated and we'll go from there. And yeah, we'll let you know how that turns out. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me for a little while today in the kitchen. I really do appreciate your time. Um, be sure to give me a thumbs up down there and leave a comment if you can. Uh, we were talking the other day about possibly doing a question and answer series. Um, or just a, like a sitting around in the garden with the three of us um, and, do, and answering any questions about whatever that anybody might have. So if you have a question for any of us, go ahead and put it down there and we will answer it together. So I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks again so much for hanging out with me. Have a great day. Bye now.